Hey YouTube, Spinner Dodge here. Hi, it's been a long time since I've uh, shot a video. It's been about a month since I shot a video, and that was, you know, just another demo. It's been forever since I've had a video on my own bike. So I figured I'd do that. It's uh, January in Texas, and it's cloudy. It's not raining, but it's cloudy, and it's a little chilly. It was a lot colder a while back. Th thought I'd take this opportunity to just uh, tell you about some of the things that I've done to Pearl uh, to my Indian scout here what upgrades that I've made in the last couple of months that I didn't shoot any how-to videos on how to put the stuff on because I just wanted the stuff on <laughs> didn't want to take the time to put up the camera but uh, there, there are other videos that show you how to do it so the first thing that you can see is my windshield that windshield is a national cycle deflector screen I got it because it was inexpensive, it was under $100, um, and I don't like looking through Lexan. I like having a windshield down, just my helmet's in the wind, I don't care. It's lo it blocks my chest, and just having this little deflector blocking the wind from my chest, I feel a whole lot more comfortable at speed on this bike. Um, that plus the, the Corbin Solo saddle that I put on here uh, have taken me to the point where I can go more than twice as far without a break as I used to uh, on on this little Indian Scout 60 which is not a touring bike um, also to kind of help with it uh, you can't see them but behind me I've got a set of Viking uh, Viking bags also because they were inexpensive and I could afford them uh, the Viking bags uh, the ones that I got are the SS slants large size uh, they went on, they're hard mounted to the bike. Um, they've got good room. The, the bike's been out in the rain and nothing that was in the bags got wet. Uh, I mean, you can look on the inside of the bag and you can see how that yeah, more expensive bag would look sturdier, but they're sturdy enough. Uh, they do their job and they come in real handy on some trips. But probably the, the biggest deal that I have uh, is that I upgraded my tires. I finally got rid of the stock tires on this motorcycle. And what I have are Metzler Marathon ME888 wide white wall. And oh, what a difference those make. Um, the section of road that I'm on right now, it just got repaved, but right here, it's been grooved. They've scraped the top of it off. And with my old tires, it'd be moving me all over the road. And these tires, they don't do it. They're not moving me over the road. I've, I've had these tires out on wet roads and uh, I felt like I had as much traction as I would have if they weren't wet. Now, it wasn't a pouring rainstorm. It was, a, it was a light rain and it had stopped. So the roads were wet, but wasn't, you know, a downpour. But I'd been on roads that were that wet before with the stock tires that come on the, on the Indian Scout 60. And you definitely feel like you don't have the traction. Um, those were... They were Indian branded tires. They had a, a stamp on the on the sidewall that said Indian, but they were really uh, Kenda Cruise uh, tires, uh, Cruise K six seventy threes, I think. Uh, and I needed them. I needed new tires anyway. It wasn't a uh, hey, I want to try out some new tires. It was like no, I need new tires. My uh, my front tire had was getting bald. <laughs> it wasn't getting bald, but it was definitely worn enough that it needed to be replaced and my rear tire had a hole in it and was riding on it with a plug and so it needed to be replaced so finally got my new tires uh, a lot happier with that the the bike is a lot more comfortable with these little upgrades that, that I put into it with the windshield and the bags and the tires and I like them all so much that I can't really I can't really say which one I appreciate having the most it's hard to tell biker wave uh, so eh. went back to my bell revolver helmet though because my uh, my scorpion helmet was buffeting pretty bad with this windshield I couldn't get it I couldn't get it set in exactly the right place I got it to a point where the buffet went away but there became a very loud roar from the wind a very deep roar and so I, I went back to my uh, bell revolver and I figured this bell revolver helmet that I'm wearing right now, it's a noisy helmet. There, there's a ton of wind noise in this helmet. Uh, but it's modular. And uh, I liked having the modular helmet better than the, than the full face. 
very well if I'm going to have to deal with noise, the, the wind noise in the in the bell was better. And with this bell, I don't have the helmet buffeting, so uh, it, it's a lot more comfortable. And Rachel and I have been able to do uh, longer rides, more more distance, because we put a windshield on her Honda as well. Um, forgot what it was called. Uh, I'll, I'll have to look on it and mention it in another video or something like that. I had to do that in the video where her bike's at. Uh, anyway, that's just checking in, say, telling you what some of the upgrades that I put on this uh, on this little Scout was. And um, all for that, I'm keeping my eye out for the next demo. Uh, the next demo days that I'll probably be able to go to, I don't know exactly when it's going to be. I'm guessing, based on what it was last year, I'm about two months away from a Harley demo at uh, Fort Worth. But if, if that happens, I'll get you some videos on some new Harleys. I'd like to, I, had, I don't have any videos yet on the uh, 2018 Softail line. Uh, a lot of other people beat me to that, so I'm just going to give up on that. Maybe get one on the, the 2018 Sport Glide. But uh, the more that I the more that I attend these demos, and the more time I spend in the saddle of an Indian chieftain, I'm pretty sure that the chieftain's where I'm going to go when I upgrade. All right, guys, I will see you later.